Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you have not yet subscribed, please do subscribe. Meanwhile, I'm still introducing you guys to this video. So this video will be all about STD 1501 assignment one. So as you can see, assignment number one is a forum assignment. In order for you to access this assignment, you need to be grouped first. Right? Then you're going to be able to uh, write down this assignment and then submit because of you will be submitting here. Right? So as you can see, this assignment consists of four questions. Let's start with number one. Number one says that briefly introduce yourself. So you have to introduce yourself. You need to write down your names, age, are you a first year student? Tell, uh, like you just have to talk about more about yourself. Yeah, write down more about yourself. You can even include your location. But when you're including your location, please make sure that it is incorrect location just for your safety. Nobody will know. Yeah. And then uh, if you want to add about something like you just want to say something about yourself more then you can write it down and then in further state that provide your my life email address so my life email address is that one that's that with your student number at my life at i'm going to say student number at my life dot unisa dot ac dot za yeah? and then uh, your group number your group number you're going to see it here it always end with a t so as you can see this one is 101t so group number always ends with a t the one that ends with a t is your group, is your group number so you're going to write 10t or you can just copy this thing all of it just copy it all of it still fine ne? the name of your teaching assistant so the name of your teaching assistant the name um they're going to tell you the name of your teaching assistant via an email once you get grouped or they're going to write it down on announcement so if you have forgotten it please go through your announcements go through your emails just to get the correct name because of if you just copy other people saying that maybe for example they're saying that my ta is mr sonapol and then when you just be like you know what i'm just gonna write to mr sonapol you're going to be wrong because of each group has a different ta Point number two, why is it important to be ethical in your studies? Yeah? It is important to be ethical in your studies because ethics promotes the aim of the studies such as knowledge, truth and avoidance of error and it, is also, it also serves as a guide to moral daily living and help us judge whether our behavior can be justified. So in order for you to get more points on this one, so that you may reach uh, 100 width, you need to use Google. It's going to help you out. And please do not forget to paraphrase the information that you get and then uh, reference it. Yeah? Point number three, what are the consequences of plagiarism? So for this one, also, you need to use Google. Just Google consequences of plagiarism and then paraphrase your work just to avoid plagiarism and then reference. I only know one. The one that I know is that uh, you will get zero for the work that you have done or for something that you have written. Yeah? Then number four, complete the, be, complete the below declaration. So this thing it is a declaration form. So on this blank space, you have to write down your names and say name. Most people just say, just write down the initials and, and say name. And then uh, for myself, I just write my name and say name. So you can say I, then mm, student number, then here you write a student number. M, a student registered for, then here you're going to write the name of your module, which is SJD1501 in the year. 2022 yeah? then then you are done so if you have any question based on this video please do comment and then i will be able to assist you even further and then please do not forget to subscribe